Yes, and then it's multiple choice. And then it's multiple choice. Yes. Yeah. So, um, Orkney Snorkney. <coughs> It's a die in for scene. Oh my god! I I ekvet dot one. I was gonna. My fact was gonna be. It's based on a fictional town in uh, the Rustenburg region. I oh, bet the town of Orkney is real. Okay, good. So I'm glad, I'm glad you fact. didn't do that, Joe. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to Poch Boys, and between Poch and Clarkstorp is the little town of Orkney. And the, the first time I'd heard that Orkney was real was. <laughs> there was an oak in a hostel, Bradley, uh, Morris, Maurice, Maurice Bradley. Right, know? Morris. Yeah, actually, Maurice. He, Maurice is how they they spell Morris in England. <laughs> so it's always Morris. The answer is always Morris. But we bizarrely, some people have started taking that Maurice French Maurice, pronunciation. Like, yeah. Maurice is uh, or Morris was from Orkney. He's like, where are you from? I'm from Frenchen. I'm from Joburg. I'm from Boxburg. I'm from Orkney. They're like, no fucking ways. It's a TV show. No, no, no. It's a real place. It is a real place. My favorite part is when they went Orkney, Snorkney, Khan, Margate to for the movie, yes. right? So then it's like the town of Orkney goes to Margate. Yeah, in the caravan park. We actually, we did that in film study. Oh, did you? Yeah, in Afrikaans class. Just, only the best, hey? Only the best for, for our South African film students. <laughs> oh my gosh. And um, so... So the it's a lovely family sitcom and stuff, but uh, the 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 names got certain meanings. Like Orkney Snorkney means it literally means it doesn't snore, but it also means it's not asleep. It's a it's a yeah. vibrant little town, which it probably isn't. It doesn't matter. No, I mean even today, I think you'd struggle to call it vibrant. <laughs> Although I did I did meet a guy once. Uh, I went to to Paris for my friend Rob's thirtieth birthday. And then we were drinking in the bar and some of these folks were hitting the, the fucking brandy and coke very, very hard. And one of them told us, he's like, no, he's he's never been to Johannesburg. You know, like Paris is like an hour south, a couple, yeah, hours, yeah. couple hours south of, yeah. of Joburg. He's like, no, he's never been to Johannesburg. He could never go there. Satan lives there. He's he's lucky because his farm is directly in the middle of the three biggest metropolitans. Metropolitanes in the in the area, these being Sasselberg, <laughs> Verenigen, and Potchefstroom. <laughs> so he was like, these these towns are big enough for him. He never needed to go to Jan. Wow, Sassel, Vitan, and Poch. Wow, man. Yeah, blew my mind. You know that just an hour south of Joburg, there were these guys That's that had never been there. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's a cute little show. I actually watched it a few times, and the English speaking community thought it was. Quite funny as well, and would tune in and have a bit of a giggle. My parents used to watch it. Yeah, so did my parents and my grandparents. But again, it was that era where we didn't have much choice, right? Yeah, but it was a bit of a giggle. It was nice to see a South African sitcom. Frank Opperman. Yes, he was in there. Hmm. Um, So my my fact is, at some point in the series, it's very, very cute, but they find the solution to snoring. And it's Orkney's solution to snoring. No, man, you fucking making that up. I hope to God that's not what they did. And the solution was they put in a purifier and a steamer, a plugged in steamer, extract of khaki boss in the in the air, uh, stopped your snoring. That's my fact. Oh, Ryan, you seem so cocky about this. It's, it's blowing my mind. I hope, you know, so, so, so there's two parts of me here at war with <laughs> you know, me as a fan of television who likes to watch. I love watching your existential crises. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm having one. I'm having one because there's, there's a part of me that's like, I like to watch good TV and I enjoy watching good TV. And I, as a, as a viewer, desperately hope that they never did that episode. And then there is the half of me that is written for these TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> True story, who, who eh? Is, who is, is aware of how desperate things can sometimes get <laughs> in the right <laughs> And of how, how deeply, deeply you're willing to sacrifice everything you stand for just to get the fucking episode written. Yeah, because the so, deadline is looming. That's right. So mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest that it's in fact that, that latter me that wins. I'm going to say, yes, it happened because... They had a long fucking Thursday night accidentally when they were supposed to write an episode on the Friday. Mm. And it was, as you say, extracts of khaki boss in a purifier. 
Oh, oh, is that the bit? <laughs> <That's a bad laughs> <episode. laughs> it was it was marijuana. Is that what it was? Is it was the implication that it was marijuana? Do you think on SABC? I think so. Yeah, I think actors have always pushed the marijuana agenda. <laughs> They've always worked for big marijuana, Ryan. Like actors have been slaves to big marijuana it's for as long been about as marijuana the big has existed. Marijuana yeah. corporation. You know, yeah. it's not the it's not the military industrial corporation ruling the world. It's no, the, it's no, big marijuana no, corp. No, no, no. If actors can sell anything, it'll be big marijuana. They're, they're, <laughs> <laughs> massive fans of the big marijuana, particularly here in South Africa. All right. You know, so you're maybe saying... LA, maybe LA is all up in their cocaine, but in South Africa, we're still a bit more traditional than that. Thing. We like Earthy, things a bit man. simple, yeah. We're simple people down here. And then we sing redemption song, or, or, or we don't. <laughs> or whatever. We don't, we don't know what... We don't, know, we don't remember what we did. We can't remember the yeah, rest of anything. What we, did. we had a dozen castles, 14 brandy and cokes, and three joints, and we can't remember what we did. But we're pretty sure we had fun. So it wasn't Cocky Boss, it was the, the Mary Jane. That's what I think. That's what I think. Uh, oh, man. Well, uh, I'll give you the point because uh, points are so important on this show. Yes, the that, very important. Um, yeah, we're adding them up. Uh, it was not uh, a purifier with extract of Cocky Boss. So you're right in that I was lying. It wasn't a purifier with extract of marijuana either. The, the simple solution to snoring in Orkney uh, was was the wife made a T-shirt and she sewed a, I don't, I don't even know the word of it, you know, like sewing thread, it's on a thing. What's that thing that a it's spool. on? spool. Is it on a spool? Yeah. She sewed a spool into the back of a T-shirt so that you could never lie on your back because lying on your back causes you to snore. So Hendrik would wear the T-shirt and he'd lie on his back and it would be uncomfortable because the fucking spool is in his right? spine and he'd turn on his side and of course the front of the t-shirt or the back of the t-shirt said orkney snork knee it was an anti-snoring t-shirt and it was I one mean, of the you know solutions that that, in the episode that, that there's a thing that lit, legit is a cure for snoring where you put it you sew a tennis ball into the, into the really? back of some of these shirts yeah this was a sewing spool okay well good I'm glad that I mean that sounds like the kind of important information that that our listener needs to go they, away with. They they do, they do because that's going to help them in their life. Yeah, yeah. It's the kind of that's the kind of fact that now they're going to remember. They're going to stream Netflix. They're going to remember Orkney that Snorkney. instead of their best friend's telephone number. <laughs> you know, that's the fucking shit that's going on. <laughs> This is how this stuff works. All right, I'm I'm actually also going to deviate from from American sitcoms now. 